All right, so for this next part, we have to make a texture ready mockup in 3D. So let's say the client uh, wants to see the product in 3D, all designed and ready. Well, that happens a lot. So, because uh, uh, if you think about it, you would have to cut out your die line, send it to the client as a product. Uh, sometimes, you know, you, you definitely do not have the manufacturing capabilities at home to be able to do that. So we make a 3D ready mockup um, that the client can look at, rotate around, and see from all angles that's already folded. Okay. So to get started, we want to think really kind of non-complex to get the idea across to you. And non-complex means a very simple box. We'll start out with just a basic document here. And we'll go to extensions, render, foldable box. Okay, we'll switch it over to inches. And we'll make a box, it's like, uh, let's say it's uh, three inches of width, three inches of height, and only like maybe a half inch, nah, let's say, yeah, 0.5 inches of depth. Okay, let's hit live preview to see what that looks like. It looks pretty cool. Um, and it fits on a page. Let's go maybe a skosh higher here. And we can go a little bit higher for the height too. Sure. Something like that. In fact, we could almost do a playing card box. Oh, look at that. Uh, now, a playing card box, the dimensions of, uh, was located on the internet. Oh yeah, right there. You could look those up too. So it's uh, in millimeters, 66 millimeters, height of 90 millimeters. And then 18 millimeters. There we go. Perfect. Let's hit apply and close. So the next thing we want to do is take and break these apart. So sometimes you have to ungroup them and then break apart. Then we want to take all of them and we want to take and put a fill in here. It doesn't matter what color you use, something that you're going to look at for quite a bit of time though. So I'm going to go to blue. And in fact, you can make every other one a different color just to make it a little easier. Well, that's a really harsh color to look at. So. There, 
right now there's quite a division in these things that I can look at for a little bit of time. Okay, another thing I want to do is eliminate the stroke value. All right. Now what we're going to do is save it as an SVG. Doesn't matter what name it is. All right. Now go on to the next video where we learn how to import it into Blender.